welcome the arrival of C919. That's also the highest level of welcoming. China! China has unveiled its first ever large passenger jet. This is the C919. The C919. The world's first C919 aircraft. China's built a brand new airliner. So welcome on board China's new airplane. On China's very own home-built C919. Auto throttle. China has this homegrown passenger airliner. That's right. Gets you grow an airplane? Yeah, well, I mean, home, mm. yeah, it's home stolen, I should no, say. No, they call it homegrown, though, yeah. like in all Chinese media. Here's the thing about this, okay? It is like the darling of China, obviously. This is like darling. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's like, hey, this is our first homegrown, home-built yes. passenger airliner. So it's, it's a massive propaganda tool. Yeah. The problem with it is, is that the majority of it is actually just foreign parts. Oh, what do you think? What do you expect? So the avionics and the electronics and the engines and everything come from er everywhere else. Are you trying to tell me mainland China would steal IP? Come on. Well, it's not about stealing. I think they even licensed some of it. Oh. But I mean, it's about as impressive as somebody buying a Lego car and putting it together and saying, I made this. I made this from scratch. <laughs> yeah, but, but following the Lego instruction book, you know, yeah, that's pretty yeah. much what it is, yeah. right? But uh, here's the thing. Um, it's very important to China. Okay, it's a very sensitive thing because, again, they're trying to prove that China can do everything just like the rest of the world, right? Yeah, if you see, like, multiple outlets pumping this out over and over and over again, especially if you see, like, white monkey shill type people talking about it, then that means there's an initiative from the Chinese yeah. state to make sure that people really care about this. Anyway. It should be called C444. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So here's the thing. Something mysterious has been going on with this thing because it debuted finally, you know, it finally entered public service. Yeah. So what? what's the, was it MU9197 was the... Yeah, it was, I, think, uh, I got notes here. It's a MU9197. Yeah, okay, good call, cool. Good call. So that's the flight number. Well, why you know that flight number? I could not tell you. Yeah, it's interesting. But <laughs> hey, here's the thing. We all know that flights have flight numbers. So hey, if you're going to go from Chicago to LA yeah. or whatever, it's going to have on, on Delta, it'll be like DL607. Right. And it's always that. Sure. Every day, it's the same, it's the same flight. And yeah. they use the same aircraft and whatever. That's right. Now, this flight went to Chengdu. But when this it is in Sichuan. Yeah. And when it came back... It wasn't the C919 anymore. Oh, what it happened? It was an Airbus A320 or something. That's incredible. I knew China loved Transformers. <laughs> yeah, so it changed. Yeah. It just yeah. magically, without any explanation. Is it a trans plane? Well, I mean, here's the thing. No explanation, oh, of, okay. course. of course. So it got all the like aviation enthusiasts, you know? Weird yeah. bunch, weird bunch. Follow all those little flight maps. I don't know. They sit there with notepads, taking notes. They got like chalkboards with, you know, string and all that. You know? Yeah, anyway, like, like solving them. Yeah, yeah, solving the puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of flight enthusiasts were like, what's going on here? Right. It left the same flight number. And even look at the flight number. 9197. So it's 919. So the C919. So it's ah. even, even the flight number is the model of the plane. Wow. Okay. It flew all the way there but suddenly got swapped out with an Airbus and flew back. Huh. Now, aviation experts and even people that used to be in the Chinese aviation industry and stuff are saying that never happens unless there's a problem with the plane and it's not fit for flying. Yes. So some, some issue has been detected. Right. And so, of course, they're very hushed up about this. It's incredibly sensitive. You're not allowed to talk about it. Huh. So 
I think we can safely say that it's not passing all the safety um, requirements. Yes. Because imagine what a disaster would be if it crashed. It's funny because the hush up, the crashing is not funny. What's funny is the, uh, you know, plane, I don't want to mm-hmm. call them nerds because I'm into weird stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I the like planes the aren't even weird. Mm-hmm. No, but you know, like people that are really into it, they'll go on like an Airbus and buy like a model of it. That's not weird. I'm saying those kind of people that pay attention to those details, they notice this kind of stuff. Of course. Like you said, they got maps out. They're doing their own homegrown Hey, maps. especially if it's such an important thing yeah. and it's a national pride issue. That's what I'm saying. The Chinese aviation uh, enthusiasts, They're paying attention. this is their most important thing. They're so excited and they should be. Yeah. And they watch this happen. They're like, wait a minute. And they know when the cover-up happens. They're the ones on, on the forums. They're like, guys, yeah, what's we going know on? what's going yeah. on here, right? Exactly. So didn't, anyway. Didn't pass muster. I would like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. You know, there's, um, there are certain things you can copy and you don't need to worry about it. You copy a bicycle. It doesn't matter if you use the same strength as steel. What's going to happen? A spoke's going to snap. Maybe you're going to wobbly wheel. Maybe you fall down and crash. But yeah. It's okay. But a plane, it's a different story. True. In China, people do not want to get involved in anyone else's problems because yeah. it might affect them. Yeah, they don't want to get sued. They don't want to be They just don't want their life to... They don't want to... They don't want to get up. She passed out from heat exhaustion. There are crowds there. And not a single person uh, goes to help. All right, security guy's like, I'm out of here. It's not my job. Dude looks over. He's like, whatever. Everybody's like, driving past. It's normal for that. Look, woman another. walks past. She's like, oh, okay. Like I said, it's the go-to in China. It's the it is the norm to do this. Okay. Yeah, to look. <laughs> Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to have dirty talk in bed. Open your legs widely. Show me your preppy part. You bitch. <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind's 